Hello, well, it's the first of the month. I'm going to write another guitar study, and uh, so it's kind of fun to do these live for you and whatnot. So let me share the music software with you, and we'll just dive into this. Okay, so I decided to write one in E minor. I don't think I've done one on E minor for you live for a while. So once again, I kind of just play around with the key. some reason I'm feeling that so I'll go along with it and once again first instinct is usually the best in composition to see minor there and uh, second inversion okay. a minor yeah that'd be cool I'll just do that and it's kind of fun to move one note at a time to kind of see where it can go and once again, you're probably noticing, just going with the flow. I see folks for all the time compose music and uh, they, they just strive so much trying to get one note sound perfect. Get in there, you can edit it later. Get, get music on the page. Go a little bit higher up. So. Always think about where you're going to go, where, where are the experiences, right?
a while. Well, I kind of use the keyboard uh, and, and put. So, need it the other way around, right? It's not spectacular, but uh, it, it works. It's very functional. It's very functional. Okay. So this is our A theme, right? This is kind of the format that, if you've been watching these, you kind of know what the format is. All right. So we've got that, and then I'll do the A theme again here, and this time I just move the, the cadence around. But pick a three third there. I won't do that. All right, cool. All right, so let's come up with a nice little contrasting thing for the B section. So I'll just move that, um, do a nice little walking bass line with this for a little bit for, for a ride. So let's just take it up. And a lot of times I use that three rule. Once you do something three times, do something else. It could work, but it's not what I, it's not what I'm going for. So I'm gonna get on the train somewhere else here. Get off the train, I mean. sure I want to keep it 100% but it's, sometimes you got to put a little filler there and then kind of just move on or you're going to stay on one measure for a million years so you don't want that
so I definitely stopped train with that, which is cool. Go back down to the train, uh, to one part of the train. Different there, go to A minor. And for those out there that, that love Finale and Sibelius, this is an old program called Encore that I just have used for 25, 30 years, something like that, so I just know it really well. So we're kind of going with that little motive of mode at a time a little bit, which is fine. It's cool. There, we're putting that B against that C there. So, some type of tension going on. So, we got to resolve that somehow on this next measure here. And also, I'm looking towards building to a cadence, also. So, kind of a lot of things going on at the same time. Don't typically like going to the five chord, two, two uh, measures from the ending from the from the cadence, but. Not super exciting. You know what? What's stopping it right in the track 
is going to the octave there. I was thinking that that's the F sharp. That's a fifth away. And on guitar, you jump hard interval. Uh, like on a piano, you'd probably have it right there, but you know, on guitar, you, just, you know, that. Already better. I think in some ways that's going to help me. That's going to change what's going to input these here. So that's going to change. And that's okay. Jumping ahead just a little bit there. That's okay. I already used this here, there. I kind of like the other one better. But maybe I like it better like that. section. Not bad, not perfect, but it'll work. All right, so now we'll go on to the C section. Something else that's contrasting, whatnot.
I try this little walk. When you do anything in life, you got to be bold, okay? And especially when you compose music, when you especially when you have nothing. Finally, oops, finally I get that in there. Sometimes you lose a little bit of power by going home, going back to the chord too fast. But, you know, sometimes you don't. Maybe this is the end of a phrase. But I don't like that. So So I will. Okay. Now kind of went back to the same place where I started off, but I'm not going to do the same thing again. So this is A minor.
Okay, that'd be interesting. Okay, I'll do that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Getting close to a cadence right here, right? thing and a few times I'll put that in there I don't think I, I don't think I had it anywhere else I was kind of avoiding the seventh degree That's all right. Kind of modulate there a little bit. That's fine. Yeah. Not using it there. Not but I have it there. Because yeah, it sounds a little modal until I show you what the key is, and I'm saving it towards the the end of the piece. So yeah. Because the ear kind of already had that, you know, that high sound going on. I'll just give it. I'll make sure.
It's a little dissonant there, isn't it? Get the cadence there, and there we go. So let's try that out. So let's put it together. Let's see how it sounds.
bad. I kind of like that it, it, it's kind of a, say some natural minor for a while there for most of it. So, yeah. So there it goes. Um, it's a. Uh, it's always kind of fun. I mean, that took me about 40 minutes to write that little guitar study. So, yeah, as always, rock and roll, of course, it does compute. If you like this type of amazing content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because that would totally compute. And uh, thank you for watching and supporting all the, my creative endeavors. Maybe next month this beard and I will be gone and I can have a haircut. Computed. Mm -hmm.